Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. The, those were some uh, highlights that uh, I took from Steel Day, which is hosted by AISC. And um, this is an event that they provide to students and young engineers in various states. In this case, it's Atlanta, Georgia. They gave us a tour through a steel fabricator shop. And apparently it was like newly renovated and turns out the only thing that was renovated were the offices. The place I went to was Universal Steel Inc. It's a fabricator that uh, provides structural members as well as some other stuff. And they were super friendly and kind enough to explain all the things that they provide, their services and uh, their finished products. Steel is the most sustainable product out there. Uh, you guys are all in Atlanta? Yep. Okay, Atlanta's heavy uh, concrete structure, as you can see. So we've obviously adapted to doing stairs and handrails and elevator separator beams and all for all these high rises. Uh, that's probably 40% of our uh, contract values each year. Other 60% structural steel buildings, hospital, hospitals, medical office buildings, schools, uh, things of that nature. Don't really do many of the small things. They definitely focus on big picture stuff. They focus on weld connections, hopes for beams, drilling out the poles in the appropriate spots. They also prime the members in house. They just like spray a primer onto the members so that they, they don't rust. If the, the members do need to be painted or galvanized, they send it to a specialist who does it and they bring it back to the shop and then package it all there and send it to the site. But yeah, it's just like super refreshing seeing these members in real life because you kind of lose, you kind of lose that perspective. Like how big is this or how heavy is this? Because these members are huge and heavy and most importantly, someone actually has to make it. Someone has to put it together. <laughs> here is a W12 and 9 I beam, or as we call them wide flange, you guys know. Mm -hmm. The W stands for a wide flange. The 6 is the height, which is the height of it, 6 inches. And then the pounds, the next one is pounds per foot. So this one, this one foot section weighs 9 pounds. Here we have a W14 at 362. Same thing, one foot of beam. It weighs 362 pounds a foot. 36 and 210. Very nice. May they make good anvils, I can tell you that. I know from personal experience that welding is a skill. Anyone can weld two pieces of metal together. The thing is getting it uh, to penetrate deep into both pieces, that the weld actually utilizes its entire strength and is able to hold the two pieces together. And also just the pattern, just to make it look nice is really, really impressive. They showed us a really thick column connection to a base plate and it was really thick. Wow. This here is what you call a full pin rail. Uh, yeah, they have to like preheat the metal for like 45 minutes before they can get it to the proper temperature to weld it. Just really cool information that I never really thought about until then. What was also neat was that they showed us how to put studs onto a deck. Um, they were demonstrating and these studs are used to bond the metal deck to concrete. They lay these out throughout the entire deck. The whole point is that it'll bond the metal deck to the concrete and make it a composite member. But yeah, they were letting us have like little paperweights. I didn't take one home, but I already have a stud from my first site visit, so I think that's good enough for me. Yeah, they were showing us some of the stairs and ladders that they were currently working on, and some of them were huge. I was not expecting like those huge HSS rectangular stringers on the side, and yeah, they were uh, pretty heavy duty. They also showed us this member that was uh, bent, like a bent HSS member with smaller HSS members inside. But yeah, really cool stuff. I would highly recommend going to one of these trips. Uh, I know AISC provides one every year, so if your state provides one, definitely go. I met a lot of young engineers just like myself, and I learned a lot, so yeah, that's a great experience. That pretty much wraps this up. I had a lot of fun, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one.